Um, so when you – have you ever had a situation where you've like either not shot the scene or completely changed it because you had to because of the girl? Yep. And how was how was that? How did you manage that? Um, I had one situation that, where I was informed that this girl was, you know, um, um, on drugs mm. and kind of freaking out. Yeah. Um, and we just we called the scene, mm-hmm. and I I just you know t- told her I wanted to make sure she was okay, mm-hmm. and um and then I you know, um called her agent and said, I'm concerned, you know, like this is, she needs help. Yeah. And, and, uh, it's, so I've, I've done that. I've, um, it's good that you can handle that in a gentle way as opposed to being like, oh my God, this bitch is on drugs and like just being kind of furious and yeah. kicking her out. And yeah, that's always the worst. I like, that actually happens a lot less frequently than I think people think it does in the porn industry. Yeah. I know that like a lot of people think everyone in the industry is on drugs, but I don't know. I found that especially, um, and I know you've been in the industry a long time as well, especially like lately, I feel like that's changed. I feel like you're getting a lot less of that. You're getting a lot more girls who are really serious about their career yeah. and who like are ambitious and are, you know, have a focus and aren't just coming in to like make some extra money on the side all like blinged out of their fucking head. It, it, it definitely, I think, I think it, um, I also, because there's, it's a lot harder now, I think, to um, have a career here mm-hmm. unless you are ambitious, unless you are um, – you know how to diversify. I mean we, we are more of an industry of several, like a lot of just these these kind of entrepreneurs. Yeah. Um, in the old days, I'm sure you remember, yeah. it'd be like, oh, contract star, couldn't get out of bed, so everyone has to go home now. Hopefully tomorrow she'll show up. Oh, contract <laughs> yeah. star fell asleep in the bathtub. Yeah. Oh, we fired her. Oh, now she's a contract star somewhere else. Like, yeah. Now it's like people talk, and it's yeah. like well, – it, social media has been a big huge. part of that. Huge. It's like this person, uh, no show, doesn't care. She was partying, saw it on her Twitter the night mm-hmm. before she was out partying. Yeah. And – we are working with 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 less money, mm-hmm. so no one wants to take that risk anymore. And yeah. I think that people are clued into that. Yeah. yeah, and and the thing is, is that for you know every girl who is going to be a no show because they were getting wasted the night before, there's 20 girls who are desperate to work yeah. who will show up on time, will show up with having read their lines yeah. with the wardrobe you asked for. Like, there's a lot of people who are very serious about their yeah. job now. Yeah. And um yeah, no, I'm I'm the same way. Like if I even if I you know, and being on social media and talking to other directors, if I even hear that a girl's unreliable or difficult or late, like I won't even book her. Yeah. And there I actually had a situation, but that's not to say that like people can't change. Sure. Because I did have a situation where a girl reached out to me a couple of weeks ago. She emailed me and I hadn't been hiring her for a while because I heard she was unreliable. I heard she was unstable and all this stuff that I just don't want to deal with. And she emailed me and she said, you know, I'd really love to work for you again. Um, You know, I had a drug problem for a while. I had, you know, some issues and I know I've been unreliable and all of this, but I've gotten clean. I'm seeing therapists. I've got my act together, you know, and I'd really love to like have you give me a second chance? And I was like, absolutely. Because, you know, for me, like I'm a recovering alcoholic, so I totally understand being a mess. (laughs) And I so appreciated that um, she reached out to me and that she, you know, was honest with me. And I mean, I'm always, I will always give people a second chance as long as they're honest with me. Yeah. Because, you know, we're not perfect. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. And it's hard too when there's people that I absolutely love and I just see them falling off. And I'm like, I Please, I just don't want that, and yeah. I and I I can't shoot them, and I want to because mm-hmm. they're talented and they're, yes. they're good, and they're they're good people. They're just they're 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 struggling, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, for sure, it's 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 a tough thing when you see an up and coming person who has a ton of potential, and then they're just you can you see it as it happens. You're like, yeah. no, I know, I know, but everybody's got their own journey. Yeah, and, you know, sometimes I mean, honestly. I think that sometimes girls just come into this industry too young. Yes. And it I don't know how you feel about this, but the, you know there's been some talk about like raising the minimum age to 21, which on one hand I can see, I think it's it's smarter to wait until you're absolutely sure this is what you want to do, but it's like 
if we can send people to war when they're 18 and that, but and they can't shoot porn, that's kind of like a, a bizarre thing. And also, too, somebody else brought up a good point. I can't remember who it was that, um, you know, some of these girls really need these jobs. And since you are, we are entrepreneurs now these days and girls can be independent to get out of like bad situations that they may be in, you know, like if they grew up in a bad family with no money, no opportunity, they can, porn can be that platform that they can actually become their own personal entrepreneurs and become independent. And it's like, you, you don't want to take that away from people. And I know some girl, some 19 year old girls who are much more emotionally mature than some 30-year-old girls. Yeah. So how do you feel about that? Yeah, it's that's a tricky thing. Um, um you know, I it's there was a time when I thought, okay, you know, you you don't really know your body, you don't really know what you want, and mm-hmm. you've decided you want to do this porn thing. Um, you know, and then and then you they have buyer's remorse mm-hmm. like six, seven months in, a year in. They and have, now with the internet, you can't take – And you can't walk – you can't go away from 